This is a fuel gauge from one of the outboard wing tanks on a Boeing 747. It goes up to almost 35,000 pounds. I've replaced Boeing's electronics with my own controller. To see how well my own controller works, let's try targeting various fuel levels on the gauge. First up, let's try 1,300 pounds. That's pretty close. Now let's try 2,500 pounds. Almost dead on. Let's try 4,000 pounds. Pretty good. Sometimes PID controllers work better one direction than the other, so let's try 2,500 pounds again. Right on again. Let's go to 5,000 pounds. Pretty close again. Let's try 7,500 pounds. And now you can see the servo motor spinning the gears. 7,500 pounds. Now let's go up to 10,000 pounds. And you can see the servo motor slow down and come to a stop. Let's go back down to 5,000 pounds. Right on. Let's do a quick demonstration of the effect of ADC noise on the derivative term of the PID controller. Let's try moving to 1300 pounds using software that only samples the ADC once. If you look closely, you can see the servo motor still moving back and forth, even though the gauge and the needle are stopped at 1300 pounds. Now let's take it back down to zero and use the software that averages 512 ADC readings together. This effectively removes the ADC noise, and when the target level of 1,300 pounds is reached, the servo motor all but stops spinning. Let's take it back down to zero now, and thanks for watching.